Hello and welcome to my channel. Uh, today I went to Arby's and for a limited time, Arby's has on their menu cheesesteaks. They have the uh, classic cheesesteak and the bacon ranch cheesesteak. I got one of each. We're going to try them out today. So to start, let's have a look. And here we have them on the left. We have the classic cheese steak, which is steak, caramelized onions, white American cheese, red and green peppers, creamy garlic aioli, uh, toasted sub bun, which incidentally, these aren't huge. They're about the size of a, a hot dog bun, maybe just a little bit bigger. Uh, this, the uh, classic cheese steak has 646 calories and it costs $7.49. Uh, to the right here, we have the uh, bacon ranch cheese steak. Again, steak and caramelized onions, white American cheese, red and green peppers, Parmesan peppercorn ranch, bacon on a toasted sub bun. Uh, 711 calories, $8.29. And now we'll give them a taste. I do want to start out by saying I'm, I'm not a connoisseur of cheese steaks. Uh, my favorite cheese steaks for the last 40 years uh, were from Tommy's Pizza in Gettysburg, PA. Um, I don't know if fast food cheese steaks, how they're going to compare um, to, uh, the classic, you know, the Philly cheesesteak, but we're going to give them a try. I know, uh, with the peppers and onions kind of reminds me of the way my parents made them when I was a kid. Anyhow, we we'll start with the classic cheesesteak again, uh, steak, onions, American cheese, red and green peppers, garlic, aioli, toasted bun. Let's give it a test. Alrighty, um, I'll start with what I like least about this. The bun is pretty generic. It tastes like what you would get at a supermarket and not in the bakery section. I mean, it's it, it, it doesn't taste bad, but it's certainly nothing outstanding. Uh, the meat, the steak is tender. It's flavorful. It's uh, cooked properly. It's not gristly. Very nice. Peppers and onions, I could maybe use a little more onion, but still tastes good. Uh, the cheese has kind of melted away, but it's still pretty good. And the uh, garlic aioli, I'm a garlic lover. It adds a nice, uh, a nice flavor to the classic cheesesteak. If I were to give this a rating... Um, and my rating system, 1 to 10, 1 is barely edible, 10 is the best thing I've ever had, um, 5 is average. I'm going to give this a 5.5, and, and what's holding it back is the bun. A better bun, maybe toasted a little bit, would put this up in the 6 or the 7 range easily, but uh, as it is, a 5.5 for the classic cheesesteak. Take a drink here for a second before I try the other one. I didn't get a soft drink. I'm having my usual coffee. Speaking of which, um, if you would like to support this channel, you can do so by buying me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com slash cynicalintrovert. Every little bit helps. 
Okay, now the bacon ranch cheese steak. And again, the difference is Parmesan peppercorn ranch and bacon added to what is in the other cheese steak. So let's give this a try. Okay, honestly, I thought I would not like that as much as the classic cheesesteak. I think adding ranch to everything is overdone, but this really tastes good uh, with the bacon and the, uh, what do they call it, Parmesan peppercorn ranch. Very tasty, very flavorful. Again, the steak and the peppers and onions are fine. Steak is tender, tasty, done properly. And again, the thing that holds it back is the bun. It, 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 the bun is average. Uh, the, everything in the bun is above average. So if I gave the uh, classic cheese steak um, five and a half, I'll give this one a six and a half. And again, on a better bun, it would go up quite a bit. That is my review of the uh, Arby's Classic Cheese Steak and Bacon Ranch Cheese Steak. Thank you for watching. Please like my videos. Please subscribe to my channel. Share my videos. Feel free to leave a comment. Uh, where do you, from where I should say, do you like cheese steaks? Uh, have you tried these? If so, what do you think of them? Thanks again. Come again.